What is going on you guys? It is me, EJ. And the last time I made a video about how to get any tilt spirit you want in Shino Life was about a couple months ago. And since then, so much has changed about how to get tilt spirits in Shino Life that it's pretty much necessary that I make another video telling you guys how to get any tilt spirit you want to get quickly in Shindo Life. And by the way, you guys, you need no game passes to do this. Before this video begins, you guys, subscribe and hit that bell so that you know whenever I'm uploading a Shino Life video. And whenever I go live, because I do go live on this channel to help you guys get free uh, scrolls and giveaways on streams, I do those quite often. So if you want to be a part of those guys, make sure you subscribe right now. Ladies and gentlemen, our like goal today is going to be 500 likes. So if you have not liked the video already, like the video if you want to get extra luck on the next tailed beast that you're going to be hunting for. Join my Roblox group, you guys. It is linked down below if you could join. Come to the group store, which is right here, and buy the merch if you want to help support me for my future videos. And last but not least, you guys, if you want free game passes, free Shino Life scrolls, private servers, and a lot more, come join my Discord server. It is linked down below. We have a huge growing community, and if you want to be a part of it, you should definitely join. And yeah, you guys, with that being said, let's talk about how to get any tailed spirit you want to get in Shindo Life. Alright guys, so first things first, which one should you get, Gen 1 or Gen 2? So for those of you guys that don't already know, which you probably should by now, there are two different generations of Tailed Beasts. One is the first gen and the second gen. And as of now, you actually get these two gens of Tailed Spirits in completely different ways. So let's talk about it. And we're also going to talk about which generation you should get because one is definitely better than the other. So first, let's talk about Gen 1. So to get Gen 1, pretty much what you need to do is you actually have to find specific scrolls. Similar to how you do boss missions, it's the same thing with, with Tailed Spirits. Except the only huge difference with fighting it is that you don't actually get guaranteed scrolls. It's, the, it's similar to like how you have a chance to get the uh, boss drops, except with Tailed Spirits instead. And this is actually a way harder process than getting Gen 2, you guys. I'm going to be real with you, like... Doing it this way to get a Tailed Spirit, I do not like it personally, but if you do like Gen 1, you should definitely get it. In fact, let's talk about uh, Gen 1 a little bit. And the reason why is because these are actually the original uh, Tailed Beasts from Naruto, which means it does have pretty much the exact same design, although as you can see here, it does have an Akuma instead of a Sharingan, but that's not a big deal. All the Tailed Spirits from Gen 1 do correlate with the Tailed Spirits from Naruto. But as you can probably tell by now, you cannot change the color of your Tailed Spirit. And by that, I'm talking about the actual outfit. And you can't change the color of the cloak either. And another thing that Gen 1 does not have is Tentacion mode. Which is pretty much Baron mode from Naruto. If you do not already know what that is, it's like the ultimate Tilt Beast form. And you cannot get it with Gen 1. So yeah, Gen 1 is pretty much looking like an L. It is a lot harder to get. And on top of that... It is a lot more limited than Gen 2. Although the only Tailed Spirit that has stayed the same recently is Tentails. Of course, you don't get the cool customization options and stuff, but you get it in the exact same way that you get the Tentails Gen 2, which is by getting the round 20 in war mode. You're not guaranteed to get the scroll every time it drops, but when it does, it is rare, and only one person can pick it up. But yeah, you guys, that is Gen 1. Let's talk about Gen 2. Alright guys, now let's talk about Gen 2. First, let's talk about how to get the Gen 2 Tailed Spirits. Now, this is the easiest one to get, and you can literally get it like in like 10 minutes if you wanted to. But yeah, guys, first things first, you're going to want to find the Tailed Spirit you want to get and what time it spawns. So for an example, say Tailed Spirit spawns at 10, 10 a.m. And it tells you what village it spawns at. So let's just say for an example, it was 10, 10. It doesn't matter a.m. or p.m. It says uh, Hayes uh, Village. So to go to Hayes Village, you know, you're going to want to come down here and find Hayes. Now, here's where, like, the, uh, misconception comes in. Everyone thinks that, you know, because, you know, you don't want to go for this in a public server. Nobody does. You don't, and I don't. But you don't have to have a private server pass to get it in a private server and hop for it. If you have a private server pass, that's going to make things a lot easier. However, if you don't already have the game pass, you can still get into any private server you want without the game pass. The first method is my Discord server, which, if you do join... All you have to do is come to the Shino Life codes. In fact, you can see right here, someone actually posted um, one that they already found. So this person took out the hard part of all this, which is trying to find the Tilt Spirit by simply putting the code. 
and just saying that he found the tailed spirit and he said it was claimed and people do this all the time in the discord server where if they find private servers with tailed spirits they will give you the code so you guys can join and get the tailed spirits for yourself but of course um not everyone's gonna do that all the time so although by the way you should definitely join the server for all that stuff because we do uh scroll hunting and a lot more but yeah if you want to get any private server you want without having to get a private server code or sorry without getting uh, a private server game pass that's my fault all you have to do is literally go on the internet and search up the village you want in private server code so for this one we're going to be trying to get uh say tilled or if we were trying to get it again you have to wait until the specific time which i know might seem harder than getting gen one but i promise you guys it is a lot easier because you don't have to kill the tilled spirit over and over again but yeah it says haze village all you do is you search up haze private server codes and you'll literally find private server codes now there are many different websites that you can use here's one right here and here you guys go, Shino Life Haze Private Server Code List. You just literally copy and paste these codes and to paste them. All you do is you just click travel, click on the white private server thing and just paste it in. And then you click teleport and then it takes you to the private server. Which means that you don't even need a private server game pass if you want to get into this and scroll hop. You can just keep hopping throughout servers until you find the tailed beast, you guys. It is that easy. Now, of course, these may have a good amount of people in them because these are called public private server codes. However, a lot of the time, you will find less people in these servers than you would a normal server. And pretty much, you're going to want to keep doing this until you find the tailed spirit that you want to get. So yeah, you guys, we're about to talk about Gen 2's benefits because let me tell you guys right now, Gen 2 has some really good benefits that you guys can use in fights and uh you know let's just say you're trying to get another tailed beast you can use the tailed beast you already have which will make it a lot easier on you and it's also very useful for war mode as well you guys for those of you trying to get the goaded uh ten tails this is also a good mode to help you get that guys comment down below which one you think is better gen 1 or gen 2 and explain why because i would love to know what you guys think all right guys so let's talk about gen 2 here so first things first you're gonna notice that you can change the colors on these to do this you just go exclamation point spirit and you will actually find this area yourself now as you can see you guys the tailed spirit looks completely different from gen 1 although i will say this one actually does look pretty neat uh you can see that there's something here aura now to look at the aura you're getting just click spectate and click randomize and it will take two spins away to customize the color now this is actually really cool you guys because you could like pretty much make this like your own custom tailed beast so i'm gonna go and keep spinning a little bit here uh, let's see what color should we go for we're gonna go for blue I like blue so yeah there we go and then we're gonna do spirit off and there you guys go so now you're off your spirit and let me show you guys how to use the god mode of tailed spirits now to do this all you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to make sure that your tailed spirit is at the level uh, that's supposed to be at which is 2000 which is max and if it's not at that level you guys I have a tutorial on my channel about how to do this you guys how to uh, level up your tailed spirits fast but yeah, to activate the god mode, do exclamation point Tentacion. And then you're going to go into the god mode, you guys, and you'll notice some huge differences with this. Number one, you get uh, the Q spec and the Z spec almost being the exact same thing. However, with the uh, Z spec, you could spawn your tailed beast, although for some reason it doesn't always do that. Uh, but you can, like, literally spawn it in, like, to, like, fight the other players without controlling it. Which is super duper awesome. And then the Q spec, of course, uh, same thing, except you don't actually get to spawn it in ever. And look at that, guys. We're flying with our tilt spirit. But you can also fly into Tassion mode as well, just like the 7th uh, or 8th mode. I'll just say 6 paths mode because it depends on which one you're using. But, yeah, you guys, uh, another thing is that you can't use it for 15 minutes after you've already activated your, your Tentacion mode. However, to uh, get through this, all you have to do is just server hop and you'll get it back, uh, which is really not a big deal whatsoever. And look at this, you guys. We've actually spawned in the Tailed Spirit, as you can see, you guys. Uh, here's what, what I was talking about earlier, uh, spawning in your Tailed Spirit. It spawns in and it can fight the opponents for you. It is super duper awesome. And yeah, Gen 2 and Gen 1 are completely different to get, ladies and gentlemen. Both require completely different methods. Me, personally, I would tell you to get Gen 2 if you're a newer player. If you're, like, more experienced and you want to get Gen 1 just for the, you know, heck of it, for the one time, I'd say go for it, you guys, because it's actually not a bad thing to do. It's actually pretty cool if you want the original Naruto Tailed Beasts. But if you also want, you know, the better ones that are less glitchy and stuff, I'd go for Gen 2. And yeah, you guys, this was your tutorial on how to get any tailed spirit you want quickly in Shindo Life. If you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe and hit the bell so they know whenever I'm uploading and going live. And yeah, you guys, I'll catch all of you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye.